guys, so on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to format an external hard drive. Basically going to erase everything that's in it and we're going to transfer information from one external hard drive to another. So I'm going to show you that. Um, that transfer process is the same thing if you're doing something from your desktop. So first of all, what you guys need is to bring up this utility. So that's this. All you guys have to do is go up here and then just type in this utility. As long as you type disk, you guys will see this. So you guys should see this option. That's disk utility, all right? So right now we're in the latest Mac OS, all right? This is Sierra. So this is the most updated one. Um, and this is how it looks. So once you open it up, this is what you'll see. So right here on the left-hand side, you guys will see external, all right? Internal, external, and then I have all these. Well, all these, it's just basically three external hard drives, all right? So don't be fooled, it's just three external hard drives right here that you guys can see. It's nothing more than that. Um, so I have three of them. I'm gonna be erasing two of them and then transferring all the information from this WD one to the Seagate ones, all right? So it doesn't matter which brand of external hard drive you guys have, you guys can make them all compatible with Mac and PC, which I will also be showing you in this video, by the way. So let's start off with erasing all the other external hard drives. And I'm gonna leave this one alone. So let's make sure not to touch that one. <laughs> We're just gonna erase all the other ones. So um, just in case, I do have each of my external hard drives partitioned into three parts. That's why you guys can see right here, photos, backup, time machine, all right? And I suggest you guys do something similar, all right? Uh, so let's just uh, click here. And then you guys are gonna click on erase. So right here in name, you guys can put anything you guys want. If not, just leave it as unknown. At this point, I'm gonna teach you what each one of these means. So the first one will only work for Mac. So let me zoom in so you guys can get a better look. So the first one is only for Mac. And so are these guys right here. Then you have XFAT, which is for both PC and Mac. And then MS-DOS FAT, which Mac can read, but not the best. So I don't recommend this one. Uh, remember, if you guys choose this one, that you may have to if you're formatting this USB stick that wants to, that you guys may want to plug into your TV or something. A lot of older TVs are only compatible with MS-DOS FAT, which is pretty bad because that only supports files that are only up to, I think, four or five gigs. All right, anything bigger. So if you have a file that's bigger than that, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna transfer. So don't choose this. XFAT is usually the best way to go, both compatible with Mac and PC. So if you go to a Windows computer, it will work just fine, all right? Um, at this point, I'm gonna erase it all. So I'm just gonna erase it for Mac, all right? And then we're just gonna put erase, all right? Now there were some security options that I didn't go through. If you guys do get something like this, so failed, don't worry about it. That just means that uh, maybe my time machine was using it or some something was using it in my computer. So I'm gonna go and turn off my time machine because that's what I know that's getting my way. So I'm gonna turn off this thing. I'm gonna, okay. So as long as I turn that off automatically, then we should be okay. So technically right now, nothing should be using my disk here and I should be okay. Um, so I'm gonna go back to it and I'm gonna choose erase again. I'm not gonna label it nothing. I'm gonna leave all this. It's already on Mac. Um, even if I choose Mac and then later one of my partitions, I want to make them available for Windows, I can do that. So your first partition uh, can be for Mac, your second one can be for PC and so on. So um, right now it's raised. So I just lost all the information that's there. All right, once I click here, Erase, it'll literally do that. Erase, delete everything. So let me just make sure, WD is my main one, so I'm keeping that, and let's erase this. So it is risky to do this if you guys are not sure what you're doing. Uh, so again, my disk might have been using something, so right now it should automatically disconnect from whatever. So one of my programs might have been using my external hard drive or something was trying to log into it and that's why it wouldn't format. It makes sense. So let's just wait for this. I'm going to see disk. Let's see details. Operation successful. We're good to go. All right. So 
So you can see my first here hard drive. So I have three hard drives, like I said. So my first one's empty, second one's empty, and they're all um, five terabytes, by the way. However, I don't want five terabytes to go strictly just to back up stuff or my time machine or anything like that. I want them to be partitioned into three parts. So I can make this work in three parts, one for Mac, one for PC, and one for Time Machine, for example, or a particular folder that you may want, or I don't know, you guys may want to partition just to be for videos, just photos or something like that. So that's what I do. So what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do in this time. Um, so I'm gonna leave these two and I'm just gonna go into WD so to show you guys. So I do have it almost full. All right, and that's why I'm transferring new stuff here. I'm gonna make new spaces. So I'm gonna start off with my partition. So what do I have to do? Click on my first part, all right? Make sure not to click on your untitled right now. Just click there, and I'm gonna do my first partition. So that's up here. So just click on partition. So I'm gonna zoom out. So I want my first partition to be Time Machine, so that's what I named it. I'm gonna choose Mac, all right? and I could use, for uh, just in case, XFAT for Time Machine, by the way. However, don't recommend it, max better. So I'm gonna choose three terabytes to use out of my five for that specific thing. Um, and then all I have to click is on the plus sign. So there we go. And right now I have two terabytes left. So I know that I want for my photos to have 400 gigs. All right, so I'm gonna choose photos and right here I would want 400 gigs so let's choose that all right so just make sure that this is gigs photos it's gonna make that partition so we have that partition and I have one more that I need so this should be easy so let's just click on the plus sign and right here, I'm going to choose my last one to be backup. So my backup should be bigger than all the other guys. Uh, right now it's set at 200. It's okay. See this thing right here? You guys can move it around. So I'm moving around for photos. So my photos, I'm just going to slide this so it's an exact number. So for photos, for example, I already said that I needed 400. So I'm going to move that until here-ish. I don't think it's gonna be an exact number, but it's gonna be around there. So there we go. So right now, that automatically made my backup be two terabytes, which is exactly what I need. And as you can see, my time machine went down to 2.57 terabytes. So remember we initially started at three, that's okay. That's because the megabytes that I told you that um, you have to wiggle it around and it actually took a couple of megabytes. So um, here's my backup. That's very important. Uh, 400 gigs of photos. That's a for sure number that I need. Um, and then we have a time machine and a backup plus. So all I did guys again was just move these guys around. All right. So you guys can move them to put in your numbers and that way you guys won't have any problems. If you guys start typing up numbers here, you might have problems because you don't know exactly how many megabytes it's gonna take to actually format this thing. So I suggest that's the easiest way to make this partition. So right now I have three partitions. I like it, it's gonna show up like this. Like you guys can see on the side, I have these partitions, all right? Um, but at this point, you guys shouldn't see something like here. You guys should see that after we do the partitions. Um, I, right now, you guys see that because I have so many external hard drives plugged in. But other than that, you guys should be fine. So after we do that, we just click on apply and we should be good. So let's just make sure on our numbers. So we have uh, we have time machine. That's almost three terabytes, two terabytes, which is perfect. And then we have 400 gigs of photos, which again is a good thing. So let's just click on apply. Partition. And right now you guys will see the process. So right here, we're formatting this one, right? So we should see time machine popping up, then backup, and then we should see photos. 
All right. So once it, this is done, so it's partitioning things, it's doing its thing. I'm just gonna leave it here so you guys can see what's happening with our first external hard drive. And then I'm gonna start, well, actually I'm gonna do this one more time. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer stuff over, which is just, you know, you could drag uh, just things over. You guys can copy paste. I mean, there's so many ways of doing this. Um, I'm probably just gonna be copy and pasting everything onto it. And by the way, if you guys are thinking of selling your external hard drive or giving it away to somebody, you might not want to just format it the way that I did it. Um, once you format something, um, there is a security option below where you can click and then it'll take a couple of hours for some of you, maybe an entire day to format the external hard drive. But that's that security option will be the best way of nobody recovering your information. Because if you format and erase something, you can always almost recover, um, I want to say 60% of the stuff. But in a lot of cases, a lot of people recover like 99% of their stuff. So it's not a guarantee. It's hard, but it happens. So we have Time Machine right now. We have Untitled and then we have Backup. I'm not sure what happened to Untitled there. So I'm pretty sure I put a title on it, but that's all right. Um, we can just rename it right now. You can just click on it to rename. All right, so right here, we can just rename this to, this should be Photos. All right, and here we have Backup, Backup, and then Time Machine. So we have a three partitions. Uh, we should see our two, three partitions right now here on the side as well. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of stuff right now, so it's not that obvious. But anyways, here's Time Machine, our Untitled. This might be another Untitled. <laughs> this was probably our photos right now. And our backup would be this one here. Anyways, that's it for this part of the thing. So we're done with our Time Machine. Photos around 400 gigs. And backup, yeah, 2 terabytes, which is ideal. So we're going to leave this. All right, so we're done with this. I'm gonna eject it just um, so we can do our next backup and you guys won't get confused. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna eject it. But to eject it, you guys can just press here and then it ejects everything. So let's go to our next external hard drive. So it's empty, it's wiped out. We have five terabytes. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna repeat this process. Partition, I'm just gonna do it faster this time, all right, guys? So this one's Time Machine. Then we want three terabytes, which again, this is gonna change, so who cares, right? So click on the plus sign, then you guys are gonna name it again. Um, our next name would be photos, which again, doesn't matter too much what we put here because we will change it in the end. 400 gigs, bang. And our last one, plus sign. This one's the important one, kinda. This one's our backup. All right, so we're gonna start moving things around so photos we said we only wanted 400 gigs so i'm gonna move this around there ish and then we have backup and time machine we're good to go click on apply partition this thing and we're good to go all right so there's been stuff here on external hard drives that's pretty delicate i only have one copy of it. I never suggest having that one copy on your external hard drive. That's why I have three, just in case. And I have an online backup as well of my videos, just in case, right? I mean, just think about it. If your house burns down, your apartment burns down, and there your external hard drives are with your all your backups, what's gonna happen? Well, they're gonna burn. So it's good to have stuff <laughs> online, right? So you can recover it. So if you guys get anything like this, I wouldn't worry about it. Again, it could be one of my things trying to use it. So the annoying part is that we're gonna have to do it again. So erase, I, I wouldn't partition it again, I would just erase. So we're gonna erase, just make sure you have the thing correct. I'm gonna erase that, it failed, it's all right, do it again, erase. It's not a big deal if if it fails. Doesn't mean your computer's crashing, nothing like that. 
it just might be one of the programs that's trying to log into the external hard drive and use it. And you can't be using your external hard drive and partitioning it or doing any of this to it. All right, so I'm gonna go actually to a partition again. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, this time it'd be a tiny bit faster. Um, I might even cut this part of my video. I don't know. So, bang. And then we have our last one. All right. So I'm just gonna do it this way this time. I'm gonna choose this one as my backup. This one I'm gonna name it um, photos, right? That's what we're doing for this tutorial. So my backup and my photos, the one that I don't care about too much. There we go, 400 gigs. Time machine. Whoa, 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 no, time machine should be at least three terabytes. Let's just move this along. So as you can see, there's not only one way of doing this, several ways. Um, so we have three terabytes and my backup. I'm actually gonna move this along. And we should be good around here. All right, so we have 400 gigs, photos, bang, apply. Partition this thing. So right now it shouldn't fail. Um, I actually didn't see why it failed the first time because I don't think any of my programs are trying to log into the external hard drive. But uh, sometimes they are, especially Time Machine. If you have Time Machine turned on, it always tries to log into whatever and tell you, yeah, you want to use this to back up your Mac. You may not want to just yet. So while this is doing that, let's just go over to our main external hard drive, all right, where we have all our information. So that's this one here. I'm not gonna click on it, all right, but that's my WD. That one has everything in it. So I'm gonna be transferring everything, except for Time Machine. Time Machine's just Time Machine. I'm gonna do it from zero. Um, and then I have my photos and backup all. So I'm gonna be transferring all that information before I, I'm actually gonna wipe this one clean. That's why I'm doing this whole process. So right now everything went okay. You should see this, pretty successful. Let's just click on done. We have our time machine backup and all that. Just check the sizing. Um, for example, used blah, blah, megabytes, that's normal. And you have two terabytes of photos, which would be wrong. Uh, we have our backup, which is 1.5 terabytes, which is wrong as well. And our time machine, which is also 1.5, which is essentially wrong. So if you guys get numbers that are wrong like that instead of your true numbers, which should be like this, all right, then there's a problem. You guys have to do it again. So not partition, but erase. So if you erase this again, don't worry about it. It's not gonna break your external hard drive. You're just erasing your stuff and that's all right. All right, guys, so something you may notice is that when we format it, um, just formatting takes up a gig. <laughs> For time machine all right and then if you go to photos you guys see almost a gig and then back up same thing 800 megabytes right so it's quite big um photos 400 gigs yeah so everything looks pretty good we're good to go right now we're gonna just be transferring stuff so we can close this utility at this point because we're done formatting and getting things set up so at this point, I, I can go to my finder. All right, so that's down here below. So I can access my external hard drives. All right, or I can just go right here on my side and I can see the icons. So I'm just gonna guess which one's what. I need to transfer stuff to my backup ball, right? So here's my backup ball. This is actually my original. So I can see that because there's actually things in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna set this off to the side. All right, and then I'm gonna take another backup. So this is a backup, I'm gonna open it up. And this backup's empty. And that's because this one is one of the ones that we recently formatted, right? And I have another backup, because I that's the other backup from my other external hard drive, which is also empty. So the way I'm gonna do it is just copy paste. 
So I'm going to press Command A, or I can just click and drag, select everything. Then right click. On my right click, you guys will see copy. All right, copy 24 items. So I could do that. Or I can just press Command A, which selects everything. Command C, which will copy everything. Command V to just paste here. Or again, right click and then just put paste 24 items. All right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to press Command V. Command V. And then on here, Command V. Now this will take forever because it's a couple of gigs. All right. And when I mean gigs, I mean a couple of terabytes. So let's just let, let it do its thing. Um, you guys could copy other files as well, not just do this. So I'm going to close my backup all. You guys can do that, by the way. Just don't close this. And most likely you won't be able to. So um, something else that I have to transfer is my photos. So here's one of my photos thing. So this is my original because I can see that because there's a folder called photos in it. Then I have photos, which has nothing. And I have another photos, which has nothing. So I'm going to transfer this file. This one's easy. Copy, paste, or drag. Let's do a drag. Drag it here. All right. So this is a ton of information. It's going to take a couple of hours for me. We're looking at a couple of terabytes that we're transferring. And um, I'm only using USB 3.0. If you guys have other, um, like USB-C, it might be a little bit faster. Um, there's other wiring that you guys can use. But for most of you, it's going to be USB 3.0. So it's going to take forever just like me. But that's how you transfer files. That's how you format things. And hopefully this tutorial helped you out somewhat to understand what's what. Just in case I didn't get Time Machine working yet, because that would that would just make kind of messy work. But um, my time machine, you guys can set it up just from here below. You guys should see system preferences right here. And then just go to time machine and set it up from there. I do have a separate video that shows you that and shows you what time machine is. But uh, just to give you a brief explanation of what it is, time machine will back up your entire computer. So I'm going to open it here for you guys. So by back up your entire computer, what I mean, it's going to back up your folders, your files, your programs, your emails, everything, your system itself. So let's say your Mac crashes, you can plug this time machine to another Mac and transfer all your information. And that's it. Everything, everything will be transferred to the other Mac. All right, you won't have to reinstall any programs or anything like that. So time machine is amazing. I like it. Um, it's not just for that. Let's say you deleted a file and you want to get it back. And it, that, you have to know approximately what date you had it. So you can go back a week ago and take that file and bring it back to today. So you can do stuff like that. And that's why, you know, the name Time Machine. Anyways, that's Time Machine. Uh, if you guys want to set up video, do have a separate one for that. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.